Howdy again. Just thought I'd show you some of my fine farm equipment that I've been using. The farm with. This is John Deere three bottom bottom plow. This is an Alexander, something of that nature, offset disc. It does not have roller bearings. It has metal against metal that you really put the grease to and uh, pretty cool. Does a great job cutting too. They knew how to make stuff back in the good old days. Ah, yes, they did. And this is a Dearborn 20 blade disc that I usually do my smoothing with if I need to. And of course, there's my, my pipe on the back to close knock down the ridges, but it always does it. In the weeds this is a Ferguson spring tooth hara. I don't know if you can see it. Nah, I can't see it myself. Yeah, maybe you can. Ferguson and it's older than I am that's damn old but anyway thought I'd show you some of my junk there's a super tractor my 100 horsepower cub <laughs> this is the one that I was working on in a video earlier uh, trying to get it to run it runs great now because of that fella right there coil if I would have put a coil on there earlier in life, I wouldn't have lost all my religion that I did. But as you can see, I had it set up for garden. And also, this was my corn tractor. A little rusty and a little rugged, but that's the way I like it. Anyway, and a little barrel. Homemade chisel plow, so to speak. Too much junk on it to see what it really looks like. I would move it, but it might be a wasp nest, and I'm allergic to the bad boys, so I will not bother them by means. This is my shop. This is where I work on stuff. Um, these poles that you see here are poles where we used to hang stick tobacco on back long ago. Yes, I've got a hole in my roof, and I can't get up there to fix it, but I'll get there one day. Somebody will. Uh, as you can see, each room has a set of tear poles, and we used to hang the sticks on it with the green tobacco. And then down below in this area, down here, there was like a heater system that would sweat the tobacco. See, there they are. There's a wasp nest. Uh -uh. I ain't messing with them. And it would, you kept stoking it up to, uh, get the tobacco to first you know turn yellow then you put some air on it to dry it out and then you kept stoking it up some more to get it good and hot and dry it dry it completely out all the way to the stem and of course then you took all the sticks out and pulled strings put them in sheets and carry them to the market and this is the family 1020 this tractor's been here since 1966. Daddy and my uncle bought it brand new back in 66, back when they were big time farmers. They had 4020s and a 3020 and a 1020, and I just thought maybe a little shot of thing. Yeah, it looks like an Oliver because of the color. Uh, pretty cool. You can call it the Oliver Deer. Yeah. Anyway, this is the colorway I was using. It's a noble Danish tine. And then there's my other colorway that I use too as well. It's a Ferguson stiff leg. That's what I call it. You know, 28 inch rows. And of course, under the green tarp, there's my 71 flexa planters. And of course, I'm not going to take them off because you never know who might live in there. If there's any questions, whatever, Feel free to drop me a, a word or two, and uh, thank you for watching, and see you later, bye.